Hello everyone, my name is the Demon King and yeah, the Necromancer for ESO has arrived. Well done. Uh, that is what I've been doing for the past couple of days really, is making a Necromancer and leveling up. Leveling him up. It has been fun uh, playing a neck, playing a new class. It is well, obviously, it's always fun to level up a new class. So, what are the things that I enjoy about the Necromancer? Well, I enjoy the overall atmosphere of the Necro, like raising the dead. I love it. But there are a few issues with with the necromancer. In fact, like nobody knows what the necromancer is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be um, like a pet build, pet build, pet class? Sorry, you can. Uh, we. Don't freaking know. There are a few skip. There's a few skills that are. I won't say crap, um, but then they won't. Well, one skill, technically. Uh, I don't know. I don't know because I've not used it, and that's the only skill that I have not used. I've used and morphed. Uh, pretty much nearly all the skills I morphed. The ultimates, because, mm. but there's one one thing that I want to point out is that the scythe. Um, I think that should have been an ultimate, like uh, what Overlord is to the Mad Sork. Um, is that the well, either the scythe should be an alt or it should be a toggle uh, skill. Like you press it, and your and your necromancer wields a ma wields a magic scythe. Yeah, with a, its own bar, that would be that would be good. But yeah, and overall, like no, like nobody knows what the necromancer, uh, it, like like I said, is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be just for PVE content? Because like. I leveled a necromancer as a PvP character with the traditional P PvP setup, and I did, I did, tr I did the new trial, not on vet, but I did it on normal as a PvP character. Mind boggling. I don't know. They nerfed it at the PTR because the the um, one of the passives was when you get when you raise up a, a pet you know, like the blast bones or the mage or even the spirit mem mender your ma magic and magic and I think stam recovery would be would increase to increase by three hundred but they nerfed that to two hundred. Uh, why? Why that was quite perfect because more more recovery is you know better than not. And the the one passive that I think that they should not have nerfed was the the max health. It was fine as two as you get extra two thousand health, but to they didn't even cut that in half. They just took set seven hundred, uh, I believe seven hundred and fifty health away from every necromancer. Just uh, freaking stupid. You know, the original passives were were nice. They were one of the re one of the reason one of the icings on the cake for any necromancer. But you know that's whatever. But the alt for the 
was it the Grave Lord? I believe. Yeah, the Great Grave Lord thing is just a flesh golem. Now, I would be fine if that was a walkable flesh golem, but no, it's just something that pops up from the ground for three seconds. I'm not ran, ran well, technically I am ranting about the Necromancer, but this is my my impressions of the class. I, I to be fair, I love the class. I love the love the passives. Bloody dog. Um. But yeah, I wish they were like more. You know, because this is was you're supposed to be a necromancer. Um. Supposed to be like the raiser of the dead, but you can only raise a blast bone. A blast bone. And um, a skeletal mage. Not even a skeletal mender. No, you just grab grab a spirit from oblivion, and just tell it to say, hey, tell it to plumb in, heal you. It's a good, it's a good heal. The tethers uh, would be a might be a bit of a problem. I did have a little bit of a bug when I had both of them inside a dungeon, which that. Took me, which kicked me out of the dungeon and straight into the character select. That is after after me playing Elder Scrolls Online for five years straight on the Xbox. Xbox, yes, I'm a con yes, I'm a console player. So what? But that is yeah, that has never happened to me. And there is one like constant bug that I still am dealing with is my characters in the middle of PvP in a dungeon. It was like could you could live with it, live you could live with it for a little bit. But in like P PvP, where you know any moment could be your last, when you are slowed and you cannot catch up. At to your group, like what the fuck? That's just stupid. Zenimax, fix this freaking bug. Isn't your main maintenance supposed to be happening on Wednesday? If this bug is not fixed, I'll make make I'll make another video. Set is a set simple as that. Fix this freaking bug. And the second bu bug that I second, but this but but this other bug ties in with the slow, is that when you have the slow bug, you can't put down an ultimate. That has cost me so much in dungeons, because it's like yes, I'm a DPS, well DPS slash healer, and I can't put down a DPS ultimate. Or I can't tran or I can't transform into a Goli Goliath to he to heal myself. I've died so many freaking times because of that bullshit. Fix these bugs, cause these bugs are game ending bugs. Now today I've had a bit of P had a bit of P PvP, which which I've had these two bugs in, and oh boy. Fix these bugs. For frick, for fuck's sake. I almost say frick. But yeah. Um. Just, but just from these, like, two bugs. Two bugs and. Well, two game breaking bugs. And the nerfs on the P PTS. By the way. Why are the consoles dictated by the P PTS or PC? I hope, I hope that that freaking notification does not show up in the freaking recording, otherwise I will lose my ship. But, but anyway, as console players we should have our own, our own uh, PTS plumbing server. 
we've been dictated, essentially, by the PC players. Console and PC are two very different freaking systems. And, you know, the poor things might work on the, on the PC, don't work on the console. And it, and we on the console have has to suffer for this. Ah, uh, but anyway, um, I do have like other ideas on what Xenomax could put into the game, but I'll make a separate video on that. Um, well, uh, yeah. But there is something that needs, I think, needs to be nerfed, even though I haven't experienced it, and that is the volume drop, the hammer, the day, yeah, the Daedric artifact that's in Cyrodiil right now. Um, I've never, I've never used it except from on the tutorial for it, and I've never been the victim of it. But yeah. And before I before I end end this, I need no actually no I'll make that into a into a separate video. So hey, at least I got so, something to plan. Well, plan, not really a plan guy. But hey, if I was a plan guy, I would like I did create a schedule about three weeks ago, and I have not. Kept, not kept up to it, mainly because I'm a lazy ass, and I just love playing, playing ESO. So, <laughs> and plus leveling up a ne necromancer, it, it, it does take time. But wait, waiting to play necromancer. Ooh. But uh, anyway, if you made, made it this far, drop, drop a like, drop. You know, drop comments. Anyway, see you guys.